In this guide, I'll be covering some of my favorite tips and tricks for Asgard's Wrath 2. This epic sequel continues the journey through Norse and Egyptian mythologies across massive locations with over 100 hours of content to explore. While containing no story spoilers, this guide might reveal some weapon, mechanic, and light character spoilers, but let's get started. Customize your weapons loadout by mixing and matching to your playstyle. You can rearrange weapons to preferred slots via the inventory menu or mix primordial and hero weapons to dual wield swords, for example. Hero weapons are specific to the human character you're currently controlling, and primordial weapons are some extra weapons you probably unlocked by pre-order bonus or through the current event. Relics slotted into weapons and armor can simply be pulled off. Just grab your gear from the inventory view and rip the relics right out. Similarly, you can physically grab any item from your inventory to hold into the game world. Bring up your inventory, hover over the item, hold grip to grab it, and exit out. Use weapons like the whip to snag out of reach items. If you haven't completed the blacksmith storyline yet, you can also throw the sword or the axe to bring far items to you. For smoother gameplay, Quest 3 users should enable the 90Hz and enhanced visual settings in the settings menu. The visual trade-offs and smoothness are worth it, but might drain your battery faster. Patience pays off when fishing. Wait for the third glow nibble before snapping back to hook the fish. Once given to you, you can find your fishing pole in the key items section of your inventory, but it may also be auto-assigned to your left thumbstick quick menu. If you don't see any fish, you can always throw different types of bait to attract them, and bait can be purchased by this guy once you unlock him in Ra's Outpost. Having trouble finding more Guardian Trumpets to move those Guardians? Simply head back to Ra's Outpost to buy more from Bess with Hacksilver. If you're wondering how Mixed Reality works in Asgard's Wrath 2, be on the lookout for Loki's Anomaly Rifts. Sometimes you'll be fighting monsters in regular VR, but if you see the option to choose between two weapons, then you know Mixed Reality mode is about to start. Utilize God Form to find collectible statues. I just spam the grip button around randomly whenever in God Mode since they're often tucked away in odd spots and crevices. You can find your collection back at the Watchtower in Brawl's Outpost. Enemies glow red or blue to indicate attack type. Red means you must dodge, blue means parry. If you block a blue attack instead of parry, your weapons can get tossed away. Don't forget about your ultimate abilities. You can find them on the side of the skill tree, and some require a certain number of Divine Wrath charges to activate. You can find your charge level on your HUD on the right side. Now a couple of Rift tips for you. Don't forget that you earn separate skill points here that you can apply to your chosen hero. This is separate from the skill points you've added to your hero in Story Mode. Also, those random totems you find sometimes, not treasure, but equip them to your hotbar to give you some added benefits like healing or bonus damage to enemies in its radius. Finally, a bonus tip. Not really useful, but interesting to try. Small animals can be stepped on or crushed for materials. They even have a super sad animation when you're squeezing them with the grip buttons and everything. But yay, free materials! Hopefully you found all these tricks helpful, whether you're just starting out or you're halfway through your journey of battling gods and mythic beasts. If you discover any other handy secrets I didn't mention, make sure to share them in the comments below. Or if you find yourself stuck somewhere, ask away as well. As always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.